Welcome back inside Arizona Daily Mix. It's Green Thumb Thursday, and we got Justin Rohner here. Good morning to you. Good morning. He's with Agriscaping Technologies, and I have to tell you, you always do it. Fantastic display, looking good. Thanks, it's all good stuff. It is. We're talking about winter wonderland and how you can take the plants that you grow and use them to heal yourself with the common cold. That's right. So there's seven major ones that I love to throw in the garden this time of year, and the okay. first one we have is way over here. It's actually the pansy. I love the pansies. You always talk about how you can eat the pansies. You can eat yes. the pansies, <laughs> and the pansy itself, I mean, when you got that cold weather coming on, you got the sniffles happening, our first place that we love to go with our family is right to the pansies. We'll eat five of those. Okay. And we'll wait about 30 minutes before we'll try any other any other cure for that common cold. It's actually something that improves your your own immune system. It supports that. Okay. A lot of good vitamin C. It's a it's a natural antihistamine, so it's a wonderful little addition to your garden. Obviously, it looks pretty, but it can it be does. thrown in a salad, eaten fresh, however you want. And why do you say you only eat five? Is that like the specific number, or do you? That's just the amount that we found okay. worked. Okay, that was works. All right. Well, let's talk about something else because some people this time of year, you know, you get the nasally congestion in the nose. What is that going to do? What That's do right. So all that? that stuff. I mean, pretty much everything that we have laid out here is going to help with at least some of the ailments that we okay. have from from the common cold. Online at agriscaping.com, you go to the news page, we actually have a specific recipes. We've got three of them available right now. There's a total of eight that are coming. Nice. And so it's all about using your fresh garden stuff to actually turn it into a nice remedy for that common cold. Because there's like 200 different viruses, you know, for the common cold. Oh, so yeah. not everyone's the same, right? Mm -hmm. And so we got uh, peppermint. That's another one you can add to uh, make a nice little steam. So you make a nice, there's a nice recipe for a, a peppermint steam. So it's a peppermint perk. Okay. Kind of helps bring you back to life. It's it's sometimes better than coffee, I've heard, you know, the p specific recipe that we have. Kind of perks you up a little bit, too. Perks you up a okay. bit. Also helps clear a lot of that decongestion that you might have. Yeah. This time of year, a lot of people got decongestion. I also see that yep. you have fruit as well. So are these Absolutely. things that you can mix with the fruit and maybe make a, a smoothie drink out of it and do that as well? You can go smoothie okay. or you can, you can go just a, a good citrus remedy. I mean, a lot of vitamin C is a lot of the stuff that people are taking, but mm -hmm. the natural forms are always much better than the pill form so this is I would true. take that so it's going through your whole esophagus and everything going through that throat that little nice soothing action that this type of stuff can have for you I mean this big old pomelo this is the granddaddy no this is humongous it's Chandler look pomelo. at this thing it's now, is this sweet or is it bitter? It is sweet. It's actually sweeter than your typical uh, uh, grapefruit. It's okay. actually the granddaddy of all grapefruits. It uh, comes from Tahiti and some of those other Asian countries. And nice. these guys, very, very wonderful. It's like it's a whole meal. I mean, right there, you chop that thing. Very dense but still juicy. Whole meal right there. Lots this, of good way to get vitamin C. This and the grapefruit sounds like it's something that would definitely clear the throat. As far as if you have that scratchiness, you have a little bit of phlegm, you can clear the throat with this kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. Really good good stuff. There's also another great citrus that we love. It's a little more unique one. We call it the, the citrus caviar. So it's called an Australian citrus. finger lime. A finger lime? Yeah. And it puts out these little crystals as you roll it in your fingers. So you, here, let me get oh, you some Oh, yeah. Look at that. And so just scrape some of that off and try that out. It's a little beady. Yep. Little beady. Oh, wow. There's a lot of flavor in There's there. There's a lot of flavor in that little guy. That's so those fantastic. Are awesome. It's a great way to add a little punch of... Uh, a flavor, mm -hmm. nice lime flavor it's kind of got to it. Yeah. I mean, you can imagine that just on like a little a little biscuit with a little bit of salmon and a little bit of that lime. Very flavorful. On top of that, it's amazing. Great hors d'oeuvre kind of setup right there. Flowering kale, this is another great one that you can add to the garden. Make a nice kale salad, help fortify a lot of the stuff that you need inside your body to mm -hmm. make your nice and healthy. And these are beautiful. And they can grow year in and year out. We got a nice little sample of that here. You can just throw it in a little pot. That's what I was going to ask you. Are these things that only grow certain times a year? But you say you can grow this all year round. You grow it year round mm -hmm. in the right microclimate. So if it gets morning sun, afternoon shade, it'll grow year round. Okay. But this time of year, you can grow. Put, you can throw it in the shade. You could also grow it in full sun, and it does really great. Garlic is another great ad. There's another yeah. great recipe about a ginger garlic mm -hmm. tea that we've got. Wonderful addition to your garden as well. Looks pretty, kind of looks like a little grass, a good backdrop to some of these guys. Mm -hmm. And then lavender, that's the thing that's gonna help you sleep better at night, right? So is this something that you're taking and maybe mixing with natural teas? Exactly, so we're making oh, teas, good. different steam treatments, and again, all those recipes we got online at agriscaping.com. Go to the news page and there's some right there. Oh my goodness, fantastic information. I just wanna ask you about the garlic real quick. So if you're drinking or eating this, should you do it a couple of times a week, depending on what you, symptoms you have, or is this a one-time shot and you're going to feel better? I do it every day. It actually helps oh, clean day. out the kidneys, help cleans out your system so you can, you can build your immune system a lot faster that way. Justin, fantastic information. If you want more, remember, go to agriscapingtechnologies.com. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we've got the most adorable puppy in studio, and we've got information on puppy scams you need to know. Nice job.